the last lecture, last official lecture of the intermediate section. And here we're going to talk about realistic growth time. So you created already your YouTube channel. You're already probably you are pretty familiar with your YouTube channel. You have done some videos. You have done some editing. You are already into it. And now you have a question. How long it will be? that I will not have any views or have only a few views or no subscribers or just few subscribers. How long it will continue until I will grow? And this is the question that is very, 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 very difficult to answer because every single channel is completely unique and completely different and every single channel has one thing that is unique to those channels. Only one thing that is completely unique to this channel and only one thing is you the creator no two channels can have the same creator and they are completely different and it's very difficult to say what is the realistic growth time but let's just try to answer this first things let's decide let's define what growth is so many people are very very focused on subscriber numbers okay like maybe my channel will grow when i will have 100 subscribers or when i'll have a thousand subscribers or 100,000 subscribers they have arbitrary goals of subscriber numbers but it is very very wrong because subscribers are not indicative of your channel's growth your views and your watch time is because there are a lot of channels that have a lot of views but not a lot of subscribers and there are a lot of channels with a lot of subscribers but not a lot of views so your channel when you have a lot of views your subscribers will come subscribers are coming with the viewers but views does not com come with subscribers so you need to understand that views are far more important metric for you and watch time than the subscribers so focus on how many views maybe daily views or, or monthly views if you want to focus you get at the watch time because watch time is more like what YouTube is focused on views is what you can be focused on views are potentially how many times you are exposed to the subscribers and watch time is for how long you're exposed to the subscribers and to define the growth it should be positive and accelerated that means it should be in plus and yeah views and watch time cannot be in minus you cannot lose views and watch time it's practically it's physically impossible you can lose subscribers though and what why I, what i meant in the third case in here is that positive and accelerated it should not be just one positive and accelerated means that we should get more and more views with every single coming months that it is going through like for example if you get 100 views to your first month your next month you should get 200 views not cumulatively but separate in the second month and it sh together it should be 300 views um, and just giving an example just an example i should not just, i'm not saying that you should have the certain amount of views or subscribers or something like that just an example to see to tell you what accelerated means third month you should get 400 additional views then another 800 etc etc um, in this case we're talking about doubling every single month it accelerates by two every single months like doubling every single month that's what it should be like not doubling but it should accelerate growth every single time more you have more you should gain this is what growth means and here is the answer of the question about a realistic growth time you see every channel will grow at its own pace and no two channels even with identical content will have the same growth so that means no one and i mean no one can tell you exactly how long it will take for a channel or at least on average how long it will take for a channel to grow no one can tell you if someone will give you some pro prognosis or something like that they're just they're just coming up with the numbers they don't know exactly nobody knows because again there is one variable that no one can predict and it is you one variable that nobody can predict i can give you some things that you can expect but and i can tell you what affects your growth but nobody can tell you when you can grow when you can have 100 subscribers or 100 views per day nobody can tell you that until you will already get there but i can tell you for sure but that it will take multiple months or years to realistically see any growth on your channel, any growth that you might consider as a good result.
because 10 views a month you will not consider good results maybe 100 views a month you will not consider good results and in many cases 10 views a day you will not consider as viewers as a good results because you may consider good results maybe thousand views a day maybe i don't know maybe 10 subscribers a day that's my views considered good results and you will not see good results multiple months and by multiple months i don't mean two or three months i mean six eight nine months minimum i mean an absolute bare minimum if you're doing everything correct and if you're lucky which is very rare for the beginner youtubers in many cases youtubers just leave the youtube after first three months of youtube because they see very little if any growth on their channel and they just completely turn off and just leave because they are focused on numbers more than a producing content that's what kills the youtube channel numbers i need these numbers i want this amount of subscribers i want this amount of views this is what kills your youtube channel you are not focusing on something some numbers because all that's you consider as a achievement no you just want numbers you are not focusing on the videos and channel itself you need to create something you want to become father or mother not because you want to have an 18 year old child no it's a process of being a parent of growing together of learning things together this is a process and the more time will go more time is spent with your child with your kid and parents will understand this if you're not a parent it might be a bit difficult to understand but parents will understand this more time you spend with your kid the more valuable it becomes and more you the less you think about the numbers with this kid for the how how old he is or how heavy he is or how how tall he is you don't think about those things you think about the time spent you think about what you brought to this world and this is the you should treat your youtube channel in this way as well yes you want the results yes and when you work on it when you really work on it really not spending an arbitrary arbitrary amount of hours no just improving with every single video that you will create then you will have your results you will have your results when you improve and try to improve with every single video that you create you will have results this is guaranteed I know that I'm not allowed officially to just give you a realistic expectations, but you will grow if you put work on it. Not enough work if you put work, constant work. Plus, your first six months to a year, your videos will still be crappy enough for it to be considered a good video. So just spend some time in improving them. And let's talk about what affects your growth just to give you a realistic understanding. And when you go to this, I, 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 can, I came up with five different things that can affect your growth. And from right from the get-go, you'll see that some things is very difficult to achieve for the beginner YouTube channel. And that's why it is difficult to grow the channel. Now, let's just go through them one by one. First is that affects your channel growth is, of course, your channel topic. So what your channel is all about. And if the channel is about everything and all over, all over the place, of course, it's worse. So don't make a channel that is all over the place. You need to be very certain topic. But the broader the topic is and more popular the topic is, more potential viewers topic has, more competition you will have as well. So it will be, you will have a lot of potential audience, but this a lot of potential audience is already served with a lot of potential creators. So it will be very, very difficult for you to be seen. But if your potential audience is small, meaning the topic is not competitive and audience is very small, you will reach your maximum and then you can go nowhere. Meaning that if your topic has potential audience of 100 people, when you get to 100 people, let's say 100 views for your videos, uh, there is nowhere else to go. And your, if it grows very, very slowly, like the audience of the topic, not the views, very, very slowly, your views will go slowly as well. So you need to find a perfect balance between three things. The thing that you like and you know, that's it together. The thing that is that has quite big audience and thing that is not competitive. That's what we need to find. And that's the most difficult thing in the beginning of the YouTube channel. That is a very difficult thing. 
but I'm pretty sure you will find something like that. You will not find the perfect thing that you love, completely love to do, that has no other people creating any content and has millions of audience. You will not find something like this, but you can get as close to perfect as you can. Next thing is your skill. It's not a skill of the video creation. It's a skill of whatever you're doing in your videos. If it's an enter entertainment, meaning how entertaining you are. If it's an education, how knowledgeable you are in a certain topic, etc., etc. It's your skill. The better you know how to do the thing, the better it will be for you because your audience will see this right away and they will come to you for the advice and for entertainment or, so, or whatever you're doing. They will know that you know this stuff better than most of the people. So they will come to you and this affects your growth. The next is the quality. It is not as big a fact as you might think, but it still affects your growth. And quality, I mean that how good your videos are. Are you recording with a webcam or black magic pocket cinema 6K? Are you recording with the webcam microphone or uh, let's say Shure SM7B, one of the best microphones uh, in the market right now? It affects you because the higher quality your videos are, uh, more tolerant uh, your viewers are to whatever you're doing in your video. It's not that effective that you might think, but it still has some effect. The next is the next two probably and uh, no let's start with the with number four it is the very very difficult thing at first to achieve it, it's a number of videos how many videos you have on the channel I mean that how complete your channel is it is very important thing for your growth being that when people is coming to your video when people are somehow stumbles upon your video and First things first, less videos you have, it's harder for the people to stumble upon your videos. And more the people uh, videos you have, it's easier for people to stumble upon the videos. When people stumble, a person who stumble upon your videos and like it, and then go to, go to your channel and see that you only have four videos, they will immediately think that your, not that your channel is new and you're just creating something, they will think that you are not creating enough videos. This is subconscious thing right away and they will just go and never come back until you have enough videos maybe. So you need to have enough videos. You need to have constant stream of videos. That's why consistency is the key. For example, if you choose to do one day, one video a week, every single week, in just a year, you'll have 52 videos. And 52 videos is very, very good number. And more videos you have again, more entry points you have, more search terms you can rank for, more people, you, more people will find the videos that, that are interesting, they're interested in your topic. And higher the chance you will have for growth. And in the first few months, you will not have a lot of videos. As a time will pass, as years will pass, you'll have more and more and more and more of your videos and every single video of yours will first things first will become better as the time will go because you will learn a lot of things and you will start seeing and watching your videos in a completely different manner and every single video that you created will drive audience every single video separately will draw audience to your channel as a whole so that's why the number of videos is important and what is very important, which weird enough, it is the size of your channel. The smaller your channel is, the less likely people will subscribe to your channel. It's complete nonsense, right? Like, it should not be like that. Because the big channels, they don't need a lot of subscribers. But still, they get thousands of su subscribers per day, maybe tens of thousands of subscribers per day. And you, with zero subscribers or very few subscribers, you barely get any subscribers in months. Is it fair? No. Is it because YouTube is unfair? No. It's because human mind is unfair. When people are coming to your videos and see a lot of views, they subconsciously think that, okay, this might be good because a lot of people are watching this. And they are very, very forgiving on whatever flaws that your videos have. And when they see that a lot of videos have a lot of views, 
they are most likely to subscribe to your channel because if it's a topic that they want to know about, if they come to your channel, they're more likely to subscribe. But when they see your video with a very little views, no matter what the quality and no matter how good the video is, they see the video that has very little views and they say, okay, something is wrong with this channel. Why nobody's watching these videos? And they will just not subscribe. It's, it's not about everyone. Not everyone does this, but many does it. So counterintuitively, you need to have a large channel to grow faster and a smaller channel grows slower. And that's what kills majority of the channels in the beginning because a lot of people seeing that bigger channels are getting thousands of subscribers, they at least expect to get few subscribers a day when they start. And the way they do not get it, they just completely turn off. Just do not want to do this anymore, even for a single second, because they think that this is a scam and oh, nobody can do this, or they are lying with the numbers, blah, 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 view boarding, et cetera, et cetera, because they couldn't do it. The thing is, the truth is, is that beginners uh, have the hardest time to grow on YouTube. Plus, because there are so, so, so many people starting on YouTube all at the same time, all together. And it, it's like being in a very, being seen in a very, 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 very crowded place. It's difficult for you to grow. And the bigger you become, the less crowded YouTube becomes for you. The less crowded. So that's why the size affects your growth. And overall, my friends, just don't focus on numbers. Only focus on numbers. Only reason why you're allowed to focus on numbers is when numbers will help you to grow or will help you to understand what is wrong or what is right with your videos. Because numbers shows you whatever is wrong or right. The video that's getting more views is right. Videos getting with with more much time is right. Video getting more subscribers is right. That's what you must you must focus on. Comparatively, only between your videos, between your videos, not anyone else's videos, your videos. So overall, growth time is depending on whatever work you are going to put into your videos. Not amount of work but what kind of work and for how long. So this will be it for this one. Let's go to the next one.